Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Once again, I'm going to be showing you another makeup tutorial. This one is a neutral halo look and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, I want to throw in that I am covering up a sunburn. Starting off, I'm going to prime my face. And since I don't really have a said primer, I'm going to be using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's this one. I'm just going to put that all on my face. Especially after the sunburn, it's important to moisturize because your skin tends to dry. Oh, my face just got 10 times redder. Now, I'm going to be moving on to my brows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. So I just brush the hairs up and shape them how I want them. And then I just go around. Sometimes I forget and I end up putting primer on or like the moisturizer on first. And then it makes it really like hard to actually draw on. It's super annoying. It happened today. After that, I just brush through it. I take this brush, it's actually the Urban Decay Perversion Angled Brush and I, it was on sale so I bought it for my eyebrows. So I'm going to be dipping in here and here in the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I just use those to fill my eyebrows. Um, Okay, so I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera just to save you guys some time because it's the same thing. And yeah, I'll see you back then. After I do my brows, I move on to a brow gel. And the one I'm currently using is the one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Whatever, that's the long name. Um, and I use a clear one. This is just to hold them in place and ensure that they're not all, all over the place. I just do the same thing I did with the spoolie earlier, just to shape them. You could do it without this, but I feel like it just makes a difference because it just, I don't know, do you see how that makes my eyebrow pop? Okay, once I am done with that, I move on to foundation. And the one I'm going to be using is a full coverage one because as you can tell, I have quite a bit to cover. Oh my gosh, do you see how bad the sunburn is? Like, don't fall asleep in the sun. I learned the hard way. And I'm just gonna be drawing it on myself. Oh, and I got a new concealer because I did not have one. And I was just using a foundation. Once you're done blending the foundation into your skin, we're gonna reach for concealer. And the one I'm using is this heart shape tape, and it's way too late for me. Just add a very tiny bit because in this shade, a little goes a long way. The problem was that the one that matched my foundation was a little too dark and I wanted it to be lighter to use for highlighting but it wasn't so yeah and the next one down was too pink for my skin tone I know it looks really pink now but that's just because of the sunburn okay so after you blend in your foundation and your concealer. We're gonna be using powder, and the one that I'm using is by Airspun, and I'm using the one in Naturally in Metro. Set my eyes really well, because if I was baking, it would stay on a lot longer. For my senior pictures, I really 
did not know what I was doing. I have really come a long way over the summer. That was a mess. And I had baked my under eyes so long. It hurt to blink. So basically I'm just setting my entire face with this powder. It was so much easier in a bun, but like I feel like I look much better with my hair down. And just wipe off the powder. It goes everywhere. <laughs> so I set my face with the powder. I set my under eyes. And yeah, so we're gonna be moving on to contouring and stuff. So I'm gonna be using the wow, I have everything from Anastasia. Um, this contour kit, and I'm gonna be mixing Fawn and these two other ones that I don't know the name of and contour. <laughs> For some bronzing, just add some color. After you contour, you can bronze. So I'm gonna be taking these two shades on the edges here and getting it on my brush and then just blender which is super dirty <laughs> and I'm gonna take the banana powder from this palette and just clean it up now I'm gonna be taking the banana powder and just sort of patting this in my t-zone to brighten it up and i'm gonna just blend that out a little next we are going to move on to eyeshadow my favorite part and i'm gonna be using the modern renaissance palette because it's my new baby and my new love and i can't stop using it like I have not even used all the colors yet. They're just so pretty. I'm pretty sure you heard this from like every other YouTuber out there. So I'm going to be starting off with this shade right here. Which is Tempura. And I just use this to make sure that my lids are fully set. Uh, look at that frizz on my hair. Like in my last video, my bun was crooked. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be actually using the brush that comes in the palette. Surprisingly, it's not so bad. And I know some people will disagree, but I feel like it's a good blending brush. Put it on the inner corner and outer corner. I'm obsessed with Halo eyes. They just, I don't know, they look so good. I'm going to be using... Um, I forgot to mention raw sienna as my transition shade so i'm packing that on i'm gonna just do the other eye the next color i'm gonna be using is a real gar it's this one down here And I'm gonna be taking that on this flatter brush that comes with the palette. I'm gonna be picking up a lot of product because I want it to pop. I want a lot of orange. It's like Cheeto orange. So you're just gonna Pack that on really nicely and then blend to make sure that there's no harsh lines and it transitions nicely. That's why we got the transition shade. Next, I'm going to move on to Cypress Umber 
which is this color right here, above the one we just used. And I'm going to be using it on my Morphe R40 brush. I'm going to be using Primavera. I'm going in with the Morphe M508 brush. As you can see, it's dirty. I'm not just going to leave it like that. That just looks kind of silly. But I'm going to be taking this brush again and using the blending side and mixing Cypress Umber and Real Girl together so that I can blend in Primavera. It almost made the color disappear, so I like to go in one more time. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is take that same blending brush and I'm going to mix all the colors that we used before. This one, the orange and the, bl the black, uh, brown. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Next, we're going to be going in with mascara. The one I use is the tart Tartiste, Tartiest. Lash paint by Tarte. Don't even know how to say that. I'm gonna apply mascara to my lower lashes. And I just do that, like, I take the brush and I just pat it onto the lower lashes. I don't really brush them because I feel that makes everything look spidery. But this adds color and makes them noticeable, but it doesn't. Make them look like they're 10 feet long. I don't really have a highlight that I normally use because I still have not found one that I actually like. The one that I'm using as a highlight, the eyeshadow, is Vermeer, which I showed you before. It's that one. And I just take a teeny bit on my brush and put that on. Take it to the bridge of my nose, tip my nose, keep the bow, and I take a little bit for the inner corners, just to make them pop. Ah, oh, look at that, that looks so pretty. I'm going to be going in with this flat shader brush from Morphe, it's the M432 brush, and I'm going to be taking another highlight shade, but this one's from the other palette, this one, and I'm going to be putting that underneath my brow bone. This just looks so pretty. I'm going to turn off one of my lights so you can actually see how good this highlight looks. No, I can't sleep for long. I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. color because it's a nice nude and it's sort of on the brown side so it just goes every look and this is a look so. video and thanks for watching bye guys